Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be creating portable applications. Now, portable apps are really useful if you want to uh, use them portably on a USB flash drive or win in WinPEs or live CDs or something like that. And uh, I've used them for years and they're really useful. And uh, they're also means you don't have to install them on any machine. So let's take a look at that. We're running inside a virtual machine here and uh, we're gonna be using uh, FinApp, which is based on uh, uh, VMware uh, software and we're going to be also using VMware workstation to install all this and get it running now you want a nice clean install of a virtual machine and then you just want to install one program at a time so I create an image and then that's how I do my portable application so let's open up the setup capture here now this is also the FinApp package uh, suite which you can use uh, so here you can see uh, VMware FinApp. Now this is not a free uh, uh, program. You will have to purchase it. But you can see here pre-scan uh, is what you need to do first. So we're going to run a pre-scan here on the system. And that's going to scan the whole system and take a sort of state of that system. A little bit like RedShot really. Before we install any programs that we want to create. So what that's going to do is scan all the registry and everything else and take a whole complete system scan and then it will remember that okay so let's run the uh, pre-scan now and it does take a bit of time so now this is the reason why you want to make sure that you've got a full clean system and it's a fresh install because that way you, d you don't want too many programs installed now once that is done its pre-scan what you want to do is now start to install the program so we'll just drop this down here for now and I've got a program here called get get data back it's a data recovery uh, program. Again, this one is not free, you will have to purchase it. Um, but I've got a full copy of this. So now what I'm gonna do is install this onto the system. So we're gonna go and install that on the system. And I'm not worried about doing data recovery here, so all this stuff doesn't really matter. But we're just gonna install it in the C drive, how you would normally install stuff. So we're gonna go next here. And uh, once we've done that, we can give it a name. It says uh, Runtime Software, that's fine. And we just go in ahead and install this. And that's completed. Now, if you have got a license at this stage, you can launch the program and put your license key in and purchase it that way. And then also that will be registered. You can see it's an unlicensed elevation uh, copy at the moment, but I'm gonna put my license key in and it will also record that process, okay? I'm not gonna obviously share that because that's my license key, uh, but once you've done that, uh, it will notify the change on the system, and of course, when we do a post scan, it will recognize that, and of course, create that in the portable app. So now we open up our FinApp program again and do a post scan, and what this post scan is gonna do is now scan the system again and see what changes have been made to the system. Obviously, we've now installed that program, and you can see it's now comparing pre-scan against the post-scan. And of course, it's gonna now detect that we've just installed a program, and it will give you the option to create a portable application of that program. So we're just gonna go next here. We don't need the uninstaller, so that's unticked there. So we can just go next. And we don't need to worry about anything here, so just click on Next. And we wanna leave that on everyone, so we're gonna go Next here again. And we want to full right access, so click Next again. And also we want the same directory as the application used for the USB and portable media, which is your USB flash drive. So we're just gonna do Next there. And also we don't need to send any information to VMware, give it a name, and uh, you can then click on next. And of course, we just want to use one entry point, uh, which is the uh, one file. And of course, we're just gonna try to compress this file down, and this is gonna add some compression here. So you can see the compress uh, viral package. This is gonna compress it down, so it makes it smaller. So that's useful if you wanna try and keep the size down. Now click next here and let that save the project. It will save all the project files and put them into a bit ready to give you an option to build uh, those files. 
So we'll just let this run. It does take a bit of time, saving all the registry keys and whatnot. Now you can see we can open the project folder, which we've just created. And there's all the files right there. It's copied all those files. And now we can go build. So if we want to build this, it's now going to compress all those into one file and build this uh, portable application. So we don't need to have the key or anything. It's all re ready uh, built into the actual installation here. So we can also leave the tick in the open, open folder containing the project ex executables after it's finished. And again, it's just going to build this now, depending on the size, how fast your computer is. You can see it's completed that just nicely. And there we go. Click finish. And there's our file right there. If I drag this onto my desktop and click on continue here. I'm just going to paste that onto the desktop. And there we have our file. So now you can see we have this one file. And this is our file. You can see it's 19.5 megabytes in size. And if we run this as administrator and click yes, and hey presto, we should have our portable application created and the program should run within itself, as you can see here. Very nifty and very neat. And you can do this to a lot of programs, or pretty much every program, so you can create your own portable applications for whatever you need for your USB flash drive, as you can see here. Very useful if you're a PC repair tech and that's how you can create your own portable apps. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then give the video a thumbs up. And also, I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great day. And I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.